I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? <sighs> They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. And what exactly can you do except jiggle it more? Oh, you'll see. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. Looks like the door's open over here. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. get anyone? I don't think so. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still... Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON fusion. Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's, like, a night watchman or something? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want No, to just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and... Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. So, wanna truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. So left. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches.
Yeah, so it looks like everybody teleported to different areas. They lost time, all of them. One was on drugs, which have had a tendency to lose increments of time. But rarely end up in new areas and losing time. So, where's Nana? <laughs> Kind of the question I have is she with Clarissa? I was wondering why he was waiting. <laughs> My radio's still working. Yep. Okay, so oh yeah, I have to go to the fence. Interesting. So now we get to split up and save one over the other, or hopefully both. Or neither. Hmm. Interesting. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Me? I'm great. I'm like a pog in its own f a pig in its own filth is what I meant to say. Good talk. Um, so, yes, left. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do- Not, uh, not exactly, no. Not exactly? Well, not at all. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know... Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Oh, 
things like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so run out of batteries and have to end the game or something. <laughs> this thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed tohi, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655 when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the white... Okay. Nothing to interact with. Alright, so it says bridge stand. Yep. That's right. 